Hey everybody and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Ignoring the fact that it's trying to think that my mouse is a controller, it is time to play as the Keeper. And we're going to play Greed Mode because I think Greed Mode is probably where it's most interesting. So, if you don't know anything about the Keeper, we unlocked him, I believe it was last time. He has Triple Shot. And he also has Weird Health. Yes, what is that health you say? Well, the health that he has is actually money because you're a Keeper. And yeah. It's pretty much exactly like what it sounds. Uh, you get to... Come on, pop the poop. I'm trying to adjust the volume in my headphones because it's really friggin' loud right now. Alright. You're exactly like a keeper. And you can't get health ups. So I'm actually just gonna restart because that's like an abysmal start. Speed and shot speed, sure. I don't want to restart forever. Uh, but yeah, when you get hit, you lose health go figure, but the health is money, so you have to basically pick up coins as health. Which is kind of odd, if you think about it. And you start with a bomb, for some reason. I'm gonna get really good at triple shot. I'm gonna leave the money out there for as long as I think I can get away with. Cause that got my health back up. So basically I have a health just lying around. Always. I will have less money at the end of the wave because of it, but... I do not appreciate this. Next wave. Oh, this is a really bad wave. That was close. I really need him to not be spawning these. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. I didn't... I thought those just spawned flies. Luckily this is... The, the last wave is out. Okay, they can... Or do spawn those. That's what I thought they did. I was very confused. I wondered if they'd gotten past it for a second. Here, I'm dealing with you. Fairly certain I can't go into curse rooms, by the way. Um, well, let's see what's in here, because I'm going to be sad about how bad it is. This is actually really good. A penetrative shot and a speed up, so we're really fast, but also our tears are piercing, which is going to help a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, oh, well, I spent my money. I, I could bomb him. No curses would be really nice, but I can't think of a curse that's particularly bad. So I'm gonna wait. Oh, I still have to fight bosses. Durr. The speed ups that we have are gonna make this relatively trivial, hopefully. Don't have much in the way of damage up though. Since he moves at a pretty consistent speed, I'll let him get close. I do have to run away from this because I've got penetrative shots. I can't bounce him and, like, lock him up. Perfect timing. Oh, look. My range is also pretty good here because of the shot speed up. Fighting two of the same boss isn't too bad. Now the downside, the real downside to the Keeper, and the reason why a lot of people hate it is because you can't really take deals with the Devil. Because you trade your health like normal, exactly like normal, 
except you only have two of it. And of course, if you have nothing, you die, and you can't pick up soul hearts. Things like that. I actually shouldn't have done that. I still don't think it's worth buying. Still don't think it's worth buying. Oh, this is bad. Well, thank you for helping me get away. Try and kill him before he hurts me. Because it's stupid to get this attack. We can deal with this. That could have been really bad. He's not doing the quick attack, which is definitely saving me from taking some damage. That attack is really good at damaging everybody. I don't think he's going to do it once throughout the fight. Now the reason why I'm doing this is now I'm Angel Room viable. And while there's still not great stuff in Angel Rooms, I can't increase my health in Angel Rooms. There's... it's still bad, basically. There's nothing in here I'm particularly fond of, so let's go. There's not a key on sale, so I'm just gonna skip that as well. I don't think I can afford to go to the curse room. Like, I just don't think it's a thing I can do. Useless. I'm taking this. There's no way I'm not. Chaos basically allows me some freedom. That's basically what it allows me. It means that anything can show up in any pool. Which means I can get deal with the devil. Deals with the devil. And things like that. In random places. Which is really good because that's why the keeper is bad. Because he can't get some of those really strong items. But now I can get them easily. I need to kill you before you spawn too many things. Definitely need some damage ups. Should be able to deal with these guys pretty easily. With piercing and all that. That was a solid dodge. These guys aren't too bad. Unless they do that. Oh god. I have to itch my nose so bad. Oh my lord. Sorry about this. Like, suddenly in the middle of that wave, my nose just got super tingly, and I was like, what? Okay. I'm in a really bad spot right now, actually. But this is the last wave, so... The leeches are a problem, just because they, they spawn so many of them. To avoid the creep. I kill the spawners. That's half the battle. I remember that these guys break into angled tiers, so my normal patterns of running away are not as viable. I kind of want Hive Mind, because I've already one third Guppy. Spirit of the Night's not all that great. It does give me flying, though. Either way. Right, this isn't too bad.
Just need to focus on him. He'll slowly kill his own guys. Unless he decides he wants to be a friggin' sniper. Got him. Alright, good. We got four seconds to clean this up. This really is not hard at all. Getting real up in his grill. Yeah, Spirit of the Night really isn't worth it. I did get this right. Yeah, that was Guppy's tail. Alright. Oh my lord. Good and bad. They're immune to their own shots, but their minions aren't. I think they're they're not immune to each other, they're immune to each other's shots. Ooh. Thought you were gonna shoot there, not spit one of those guys. So that was pretty solid. And we should hopefully get an angel room. There's luckily Yeah, okay, and we can get anything in here. Including ridiculous flies. I'm okay with that. So, can I? Yes, I can afford something from here, but do I want something from here? Flight is really useful. Is it worth 15 cents? I'm gonna go so far as to say yes. Because we are gonna get this back, whatever this is. It's a luck down. It's not optimal, but that's okay. As I said, flight is pretty friggin' valuable. It lets us get safe places, it lets us do things like that. So I'm not going to be too sad about it. It actually would let us afford to getting into secret rooms. Or not secret rooms, curse rooms. By the way, these are pretty much always bad, except for that right there. I'm not a big fan of any of those things that I'm seeing. Tech point five is beautiful though. Seeing tech point five, especially in the in a run like this where I've got triple shot, this is going to increase our DPS a lot, and has the potential to really raise our DPS as well. I'm pretty sure that. No, I was going for the coins. I was going for the coins, and I didn't have invincibility frames that lasted long enough. Oh man, I'm so slow. Well, I guess asking ye shall receive. Wooden spoon. I've now finally noticed that they're like little beating marks. <sighs> I don't think I can get that chest, but I'm gonna try. You know what? Works for me. Like, really, that works for me. Our damage is now pretty insane. It's a great way to start. I think these early waves are going to be pushovers. Still, I'm a little sad that I don't have chaos. like we are succeeding at preventing or avoiding taking damage. Kill the trite. The trite's probably the most dangerous. Oh no! That's why I've got coins just sitting out and about. Dang, I was trying to, I wanted to push it.
I don't have a use item that I think is worthwhile, so I'm not gonna bother. Sad Onion is pretty nice. It tears up with triple shot. This is gonna get interesting. Mostly because I do not want to accidentally pick up all these coins. But we're massacring it, which is glorious. I forgot there was that was the first one. Once again. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful death of deathy murder. I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. Oh my gosh. My kingdom for holy mantle though, seriously. I don't know where it is. Freaking hate you as a boss. I am surprised I even avoided that. If I had not picked up wooden spoon, I would not have been able to. I actually managed to avoid the triple shot, which is rare for me. Gotcha. Welcome to Deadville, population U. I can't take any of these, sadly. I would not have mind being able to take some of those, but taking... Yeah, can't. not being able to get soul hearts just kind of sucks sometimes. Uh, do I want the battery? I think I do. The car, like, I don't have a good use item right now, but... Seven cents, and I could get one. I'm really sad right now. Uh, I can't hope. I can't go into the curse room and hope. I can't. I can do. Plays? Plays! Pheromones. Bloody Penny literally doesn't help me because <laughs> it drops hearts, but oh man, we got chaos. We got chaos. That's awesome. That was a risky play. That was a stupidly risky play. But I think it's the right play. Alright, well, we'll at least see what our pills are. Puberty is useless. Most pills are use useless. This is useless. Look at that. That would be two soul hearts. Wait. Did that give me a whole bunch of flies? Or did I already have a bunch of flies? I don't know anymore. I'm curious now, though. Oh, no. It does. Okay. So this is a fly generator. I'm okay with this now. I'm glad that I tried using it. Why does this generate flies? It's not as good as Guppy's head. I would take Guppy's head over this, and I'd be correct to do so. Um, I don't think any of these are worth it. I think it might be worth bombing that, but that's about it. Wrecked. Oh my lord. Stand in a field of coins. I'm gonna get hit a lot. Or I thought I'd get hit a lot more than that. What? Okay, never mind. I thought they were Larry Juniors and I was gonna be a lot more scared. Larry Juniors this long would be terrifying, but it's just the hollow. 
The reason why Larry Jr. is this big would be terrifying is because Larry Juniors can't fly, which means that they have to embody, like they have to take up the space on the, the ground that you would expect them to take up, which would be pretty insane. That's a lot of the room just filled. Sustain me. Alright, so. Got a bunch of coins. Is it red hearts? Is it any hearts that cause flies? That. Interesting. I think I can make this pay for itself, which is why I'm doing this. See? Epic pay for self. Like, that paid for itself in every way. Cube of meat might be worth it, but I'd rather see what I can get on the next floor. All the flies. I, I don't understand why it's a fly generator. I really don't. It has to do with hearts, obviously. Squeezy is an interesting... Proposal, basically. This is not what I want to see. Abel's not terrible, but he's not great, let's be honest. Alright, I really don't like Curse of Darkness. You know. I have chaos. Give me something friggin' interesting, man. Toothpicks I'll take. Man, I remember when toothpicks were useless. What a time. Actually caused that one to spawn as a head. A lone head. I'm so confused. Oh, this place got busy. I need to get closer to my coins. Or this will be how I die. Holy hell. I have no idea how I dodged that. Like, I had no right to dodge that, basically. Okay. I don't want any of these. Should I just take Guppy's head and be done with it? I think so. This will be up every wave. It's going to spawn a butt ton of flies. Becoming Guppy would be pretty bitchin' with chaos. It's not impossible. Every wave being a thing will make these flies worth it. Hive mind would be godly. Oh shit, fuck bloat. Truly the eyes of Satan. See, Teratoma, I'm okay with. You can throw Teratomas at me all day. It'll be my own fault if I die to Teratoma. But fucking bloat, man. Wow, that was actually rather impressive. I'm surprised I did not actually take damage there. Like, I know right now that I am very aggressively breaking up the Teratoma. 
I'm okay with that. I'm choosing to do that. I also know that I have the damage to take care of spiders pretty handily, so... There's still one piece left. Sniper spider is sniper. Okay, still devil deal. Whatever. None of these things here are particularly useful, so I'm gonna move on after doing this. Yet I'm also willing to do this. I hate myself. I've gotta go for Guppy. Like, there's. With Chaos up. Guppy is like a real dream. It's actually a thing. Oh man. Curse of the Blind. Cuba Meat, once again, not sad about it. I, what I am sad about is this. Because I have no idea what it is, and there's no way that I'll know, and there's no way that I'm crazy enough to buy any of it. So. So the downside of Guppy's head is that it will carry me all the way to the greed fight, but it will not do the greed fight for me. Like it's just that, that simple. I'm really building up a lot of flies, so there's... Well, not really building up, but I can generate a lot of flies. Which means that I'm doing pretty good. Please die. Luckily, there's a three cent key. Boom. It's... Three cents for a useless item. But it's better than what I'd pay for other stuff. Die. Once again, please just die. And we did it in time. Wow. The level of scumbag. There is no way I wasn't taking damage there, basically. The friggin' eyes just corralled me right up to laser level. This is a fight. Mostly just because of these guys. Be really careful here. I feel like this boss fight got a lot more brutal since I last played with it. Okay, we got one of those. Got the other. Okay, now I can fight Monster 2. For real. I think I gotta. Run out of health here. Man, I remember when you could sunlock monster too. He landed on the tears that killed him. Oh, an angel room. Godhead, please. I know you can't have Godhead. Dead Dove, Flight and Spectral Tears, what do you know? That's super useful. So I'm not buying any of these for obvious reasons. Um, but I can see these now, that's bad gas, and that's the devil. So I'm keeping strength. I already have the multiplier, the damage multiplier. 
which makes me like a bit iffy on whether or not it's actually worth keeping. But at this point, I don't have much option. Okay, good. No curse of the blind. That's good. Well, this is underwhelming. Like super underwhelming. Okay, sack dagger. I like. Free key. I also like. Why the breakfast? Like, I haven't breakfasted any pools. What's the point? Abel's tears are also occasionally catching me off guard. I freaking hate these guys. Teleport away. Bat bat, please die. That was it. Oh gosh, there's another one of those guys. I don't think that can hurt me. Once again, very simple. I'm hanging out right here by the coins. I mean, it's nice that I've got this much health just basically sitting around. No! I couldn't get to the coins. I couldn't get to the coins. Alright, well, that's about it for this episode, I think. I'm trying to keep the Binding of Isaac episodes at a reasonable length. The Keeper is definitely tough. Obviously tougher than the Lost once you get the Holy Mantle, because I <laughs> beat the Lost on my first try on Greed Mode. But, enough of that for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you next time.